Oh, okay, any hey, YouTube friends? So, here I got the modded up 661. Got my little uh, paracord bolt winch on there. And I got a couple of cans I'm wanting to slab into uh, tabletop. So, I already fired the saw up and let it warm up a little bit. So, let's get this going.
Okay, so I'll show you my setup here a little better. The uh, so there's my chainsaw on the chainsaw mill. Seen me cranking on that. That was going to right there. It doesn't have to be centered. Um, there's just paracord on that. And I double it up, not because I need the pulling power, but because I want to have it pull slower. Makes it easier. And here's the two cants we did. Um, so here's, here's one of them. It's a nice tabletop, and I'll just uh, use a wood shaper and kind of follow the contour there and make a similar live edge look over here. And that'll make a nice tabletop. So I got those two there or four there um, then we'll see I got that big wide one there and another wide one in behind it and then we got these these benches here total I have seven and I need to real quick make one table for a raffle for the youth football and then I got an order for five more tables so ultimately I'm setting up to do six but I'm going to do one first normally I would do all six kind of as a process but I got one of them on a deadline and the other two are uh, whenever you get to it and this one I'm still torn on it's a really nice beautiful piece of wood but it has it's setting the metal detector off in both ends so I just don't know um, can't really get much usable out of it I am really thinking about putting it up there and milling it with the chainsaw and if I hit something I hit something the fresh frustrating part if it was in one end it's not a big deal but with it in both ends it's kind of a frustrating to cut it you hit something you have to pull it off you have to sharpen the chain run through hit something but we'll see what I decide to do but as always thanks for watching and tune in for more